Unless you need to take a break. I'm okay so fine. far. All right. All right. Let me get this link up. Yeah, you can you can DM me or tag me on Twitter for sure. Yep. I'll get you all the right links. We'd love to have you in the in the Discord for sure. Um okay, and let me let me also link um Here is our third cube for the night. Um so this is by Magic the Simpsoning who I follow on Twitter as well. That's the first place I ran into um Simpsoning was was on there and then saw the saw this cube um, and, and Gwen and I talked a little bit about it and you've been on a big altars kick. So we wanted to talk a little bit about the art, but, and also look at that also well, tagged their cube also tagged his cube here. Um, I wasn't sure because I, I follow him on Twitter. Yep. Um, and so I, I see that they post all, all, all these, um, art cards. Yep. I don't know if it's for this cube. Or if um, they just haven't uploaded the Cube Cobra, which would be such a shame. It would really break my heart if well, they just didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we can talk them through it. Um, so real quick on the Cube, though. This is a, a modified version of the MTGO Vintage Cube. Uh, it's designed to hopefully play online on MTGO. Sam, thank you for sending your Cube in. It's our pleasure. It was really fun playing through your Cube. Um, he, he described yeah, it as... He described it as budget-ish, this cube. Um, so I think uh, I don't think there's necessarily a hard line like there was with Sam, but it is a, a relevant factor. And in particular, because it's online, that's in tickets. So that's actually a very different game because like there are multi-hundred dollar mm -hmm. dual lands that are like 10 tickets. So that's a whole different ball game. Um, so uh, and and as Gwen said, um, uh uh, Simpsoning had posted all these different altered um, Simpsons cards on Twitter, which is hilarious and really fun to watch. Um, and and I assumed it was for this cube, but maybe not. Um, so you can check uh, you can check them out there. That link is in the chat now. Anyway, uh, Simpsoning's questions were: um, Are there some cheap in tickets cards that he may be overlooking? Um, are there inclusions that are going to make this experience less fun? I think that's actually a great question. It's challenging because fun can be different things for different people. Some people like Splinter Twin and some people hate it. But um, And then suggestions for cuts or additions or replacements. And he didn't specifically ask us to draft it, but I, I don't. that doesn't mean we can't. Um, so that's an option. So uh, we're in the cube. Let's take a look. What do we see? So first and foremost, the land situation is pretty good here. Um, we've got some ABR duels, shocks. Uh, I don't see fetches off the top. Which if if we, I guess in fairness, the um, the duels are, a lot of the duels are actually cheaper than the fetches online, which is super fucking weird to me, but. I see, I, I see, I see the fetches. Oh, are they at the bottom? I always do that. Yep, there they are. Yeah. Okay. Wow, so even better. So we've got we've got the fetches, shocks, and duels, which means our fixing is going to be a very different experience here. Um, and there's six lands per guild, then, if all the fetches are represented, um, which is going to be quite excellent. Um, looking through the gold section... We do have all the signets, so that's relevant. Um, I will say it's it's up to uh, it's up to each individual person. I personally find it valuable to put the signets over in the uh, in the colors section, only because I just don't think of them as being really strictly those two colors. Like in a lot of cubes, I'll just take a signet, especially if it's got one of my colors. Um, but it depends. Yeah, it depends. Personal preference. That's just me. Um, Here's here's a fun observation. <laughs> the the Demir section of this cube looks almost identical to the Demir section from the first cube, right? We have the Signet, Baleful Strix. Mm -hmm. The Talisman's different, but we have Thief of Sanity, Fallen Shinobi, Scarab God. There was one other card. Hostage Taker was the other one. If you change Talisman to Hostage Taker, mm -hmm. it's identical. So that's really 
you know, you had mentioned in that first cube that like, you know, blue, black, steal your stuff or like blue, black, like good cards isn't um, like isn't really a, an archetype or a theme. And that's the same thing here is like, these are great cards, but like at that point you're just playing like a blue, black value pile a lot of the time. Um, I would like to point out one thing um, as well. I see Edric is in the cube, but um, there's no blue one drops. Um, there's all the green one drops for like mana dorks. So you're this like tempo blue green um, attack and draw deck. Uh, kind of doesn't exist and i think edric is kind of um stranded in an awkward place here without more one drops yeah you need to be like, more aggressive um, yeah like it's not even hex drinker you know come on <laughs> it's not even hex drinker gwen gwen you disconnected oh no come back um maybe that's a budget conceit i don't know i mean hex drinker isn't cheap oh oh, oh wow oh, actually, yeah. it's probably expensive on it's actually only six and a half online it's about the same as paper oh, there you go six seven bucks i thought it was more expensive than that has that dropped recently i think it like kind of boomed but then people realized the card was only good in cube and not modern <laughs> true it's fucking great in cube though okay um, and, yeah. and D white, we can address this now or later, but D white did point out and I, it took me a minute to catch it. We do also have all the talismans and all the signets, which is a question to address as well. Um, cause that, that means we have five fixing lands, the fetches, all the signets and all the talismans per guild. Um, which is not necessarily a bad I, thing, I but that's something to, something to talk about. I think I like it. Um, cause this is a powered cube. Um, and it kind of. God, honestly, it turned one box. It maybe it's just, just hair it like completely nonsense, but it feels kind of <laughs> anemic if you don't have other artifact mana. The right. real busted stuff is like when you go like, um, you know, mana crit mox into like three signets and then pass the next turn and play. I don't know, like Whiffle Primus, <laughs> you know, right? Right? Uh, it, it's not where you go like Lotus into uh. Hero of Blade Gold, turn one. Right. Okay. Uh, and I, I think how, doubling up does kind of increase this vibe of uh, being a very, very powerful cube. So I kind of like it. Okay. And, and there's some like artifact matter stuff that um, I can see um, building some like really like land um, light decks and then playing like Karn Sign or Urza and uh, is Urza in here as well. Uh, or is this not? Nope. Um, no, no Urza this time. I think Urza would be a great addition with this number of um, artifacts. Yep. Oh, that's going to be all of them. Yeah, so there's this reanimator. Um, that's and not bad online. Supported. Only nine bucks online. It's much more expensive in paper. Nice. We have wildfire and burning, which I, I suspect are super consistent with the number of artifacts. The number of rocks. Yep, that's fair. Yeah, yep. there's there's twin and sneak attack. Kiki jiki. Yeah. Okay. But Trigon Fragile is actually probably super good because everyone's playing Mana Rocks. What is? Um, Trigon Predator. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same with Fire Confluence. Fire Confluence must be an absolute beating. Yeah, this is a 400 card cube, so... Um... And the, the actual Moto Vintage cube is 540, right? Because they always do 540. Yeah. So So we've cut some stuff... Either for for good or for budget, or both. Honestly, this this feels like it doesn't have a lot of like um, a lot of 2020, 2019 cards. But that's the biggest mm. thing for me. Yeah, yeah. It 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 feels like twenty eighteen uh, vintage magic, and I don't okay. hate that. No, no. Uh, I think I think that's a nice vibe to have. Yeah, I don't disagree. 
I wonder, will the blog tell us when this was made? When this, when, when he added this to Cobra? Yeah, but, um, that may not be relevant. 2019. Right. Doesn't... Right, right, right. Any older cues will just have it imported from CT. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, no, that's interesting though. That's an interesting observation. <clears throat> and I wonder if maybe again, it's just that he's been working on this for a little while and just, you know, didn't keep up with the updates or if it was a specific, like, no, I'm not, I'm not playing Uro and all that shit. <clears throat> and I'll be honest, I've, I've really haven't played the high powered cubes on Moto just cause I don't think that's quite, quite my jam. Um, I mean, I will at some point, but more, more because I'm doing cube content now and I feel like I should earn some chops up there, but that's not like, that's not necessarily what I'm here for as far as cube personally. So I don't really play a ton of that. Um. <clears throat> I, I, I'd like to see Spellseeker um, in this kind of powered cube. It's just okay. being able to fetch a time walk or just a, a you know, a versatile spell. I, I really like it in power environments. Sure. It's cheap uh, online. You could, you could, dare I say, throw Oko or Uro in here. Uh, maybe people don't like right. Oko. Casualties of War feels weak. I know this is in the Moto Cube. Um, it was bad in there. Very, very, very stinky. Casualties of War, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Mirari's Wake, also a card that has not aged quite gracefully. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah, that it does one I not know. work not too stellar with... Uh, your, like 20 mana rocks <laughs> right yep oh man ancient grudge that that's that's a mean one <laughs> you kind of need it though don't you i mean like you gotta you gotta have something am i am i wrong about that i feel like you gotta have some like you got rex sage is in here isn't it Oh, we lost Gwen. Ancient Grudge killed his connection. Um, is that listed in Gruel? Oh, it is listed in Gruel. That's, I guess that's fair. I think I might see that as a red card, but... Um, 2020 Simic cards just won't die. You can't escape them. Yeah, that's the truth. That is the truth. I mean, I guess in an environment like this where you're already doing crazy busted things... Um, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's fine. Um, uh, like, I feel like, I know people don't like Oko and Uro, but I feel like, I don't know. It's hard to think that you're okay with, like, Black Lotus and Mox, but, you know, Oko's the thing that you can't wrap your head around or whatever, or Uro. Like, I don't know. Like, if you're doing those things... That's where they seem to fit. Um, but again, I don't play a ton of this, so I don't know. Maybe I'm talking about talking about my ass here. Um, yeah, I think I think Gwen had some good suggestions um, on cards, and I'm curious if chat also has any suggestions for things that you might add to this. Um, I don't think, like looking through, I don't think there's anything like horrible that needs to be cut. You know, there were a couple a couple things like Morari's Wake, but. Um, I also Welcome think back. those will reveal themselves quickly. Welcome back. Ah, sorry about that. No, no, you're good. Oh, yeah, so I, I was saying, um, I don't think Uro's, like, broken in cube. I think it's, right. it's good. I don't think it's too good, though. I think the play, the reason the card is miserable is because the play instructed is just turn up endless amount of, you know, life and ramp, and yep. it's just, it, it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. Yep. Because you just... Well, while you were yeah. while you were reconnecting, that's kind of what I was saying was like, it's also, you know, it's kind of funny to me. Like, I get why people didn't like Oko or Uro in Standard, you know, when like Murder was your best reprinted removal. Oh, hold but... on, I gotta, gotta go to my dog. Yep. They can play more mana dorks, <laughs> right? How are we on the dorks here? We got plenty of good ones, right? Yeah. We've got all the good. We've got all the good dorks. Just, just chewing on some plastic. What's up? 
Which one's this? Here's Yuki. This is Yuki. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> She's not having a good time. This is how. You in contact. <laughs> and here's Lulu. And she's having a great time. She loves everybody. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. I love them. This is how my stream's going to explode. Is Gwen bringing his doggos on? Yeah, Lulu is a very sweet dog. She, she will just sit on my lap while I work. That's awesome. He's a, a regular in my uh, meetings for work. Right. He's, she just hates to be on her own. But he, Yuki, it's a rare, rare occurrence to have her. Yep. My my two year old is like that. If he knows I'm in a meet, because I have like a you know, meeting, sometimes from home, and he'll just come over and sit. And this is all you can see is the top of his head. And then he'll decide he wants to see what's going on. So he'll like sit up and you'll see his eyes. And then he's like back down and he'll just do that for like half an hour. Ridiculous. Ridiculous yeah, child. Just, she just jumps on my chair and then I pick her up. and That's awesome. She sits in my lap for an hour or two. Yeah, Astox, I agree. Like, I, uh, I can see why people are sick of them because, you know, they went through standard and modern and brawl and they, you know, it feels like it feels like they're everywhere and everyone's just playing them everywhere. But I, what, anyway, Gwen, what I was saying when you, when you disconnected was, uh -huh. you know, it's kind of weird to me in a situation like this to be like, you know, Uro is my problem when it's like you literally have all the mocks and Black Lotus and like you're doing all those just, I mean, the whole point of this cube is to do those busted things. So like, of course, why would you not? put those in the list like why is uro a bridge too far barring astox's point which is like just wanting a break from those which i think is actually fair you know if you especially if you've played a lot of standard or maybe you started as an arena player or you play a lot of arena and you're just like the last thing you want is to see another fucking uro escape you know but in a, in a i don't know in a cube like this i think unless it's a cost issue why not like let's get them in there Yeah, I, like it's an easy spell for Edric because Edric has just, I think it's not actually supported with the blue or green sections. Yep. Also, I see Prime Speaker Vanifar. Um, is there. Is, it the is Pod in here? Is that what you're thinking? Artisan. Pod? Pod, Pod is in here. Pod's in here. Uh, Fiend Artisan is not. I think Fiend Artisan is a much better Pod than Prime Speaker Vanifar. Yep. yep. You I can agree. Just play it in a black green. Yeah. You know. Mid well, and the and the hybrid means you can play it in either, right? It doesn't have to be exactly, yeah. And on top of that, what I like about that, I want to pull that up real quick. Um, and again, maybe maybe you're onto something with this. Like, this is just the 2018 version of the cube. But <clears throat> what I like about Fiend Artisan is <clears throat> the act of doing the pod thing actually feels it as well. You know what I mean? Like, you don't necessarily have to be podding to just keep upgrading and sacking creatures and making the fiend artisan itself bigger. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I wonder what, how many MH1 cards are in here? That's a good question. It's 10. Hmm. If sling playing lieutenant, that's a surprising one. Um, well, and some don't count. I did see... Deep Forest Hermit, that's a reprint, right? Before server is not a reprint. Was that a new one? That was a new one, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the... I'm thinking of the other one. Oh, yeah. Kinnon maybe is good. Fallen Shinobi. Oh, yeah. Big fan. Uh, Nature's Chant. Also a big fan. Oh, Five Talismans to render that. Yep. Yogmoth. Yep. Yeah, Yogmoth. Yogmoth is the bee's knees. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't see Urza. Urza seems like a yeah. slam dunk. Yeah. All the artifacts. Um, <clears throat> our Lord and Savior, Hex Drinker. Um. <laughs> right? Those are all cheap, too. I think those are good suggestions. So Urza, Hex Drinker. I, I could see being on board with Kinnon. Um, Vernon 6 and um, playing... Uh, yeah, replace like the Shambling event <clears throat> and... Hissing Quagmire, or what ones you can replace. No, in fairness, Red and Six is land. super fucking expensive. I believe that. I also believe that the Horizon Lands are also expensive. Um, Can you is those? I don't think you can, can you? 
Yeah, so Derek, this is on a budget, but ahead. for Modo. Yeah. And it's also not so like... It's weird because... The... You go ahead. Yeah, so there's things like Moxes and Lotus and Duels, but that's fine because those are so cheap on Moto. That's all, that's all I was going to say. Yeah, the Horizons are actually not that... I mean, again, he also didn't give us like a strict budget, so there's not like a number. Mm -hmm. um, so I, And I get that. Like, there are cards that I'll pay five, six, ten bucks for, but there are others that I'm like, no, nah, if it's more than two, like... I'm either not running it or I'll proxy it or whatever, but um, the I just pulled up Nurturing Peatland as an example. I mean, it's only five and a, five and a half online, and it's only six bucks paper. They're actually not that expensive. Um, uh, like the shocks are going to be more online, and some of the pain lands even that are in here. So you were talking about that. So are all the are all the creature lands in here? Is that is that true of the Vintage Cube, too? Because some of these are awful. Lava Claw reaches. Yep. Yeah, they're I, all... I, I would swap those out. I, I am not a fan of uh, 7 out of 10 of them. <laughs> I'm with you. I, I can see four on a stretch in this environment. Like, two, maybe three. I don't even know if I'd keep Raging Ravine in here. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's me. But... Um, there is. And the, the only the only reason I ever consider hissing quagmire is if you might be able to gotcha someone on defense, because there are plenty of times where someone's just going to come in at you, forgetting that you have a death touch land that you can activate. Like, but even that it's in yeah, black green. Also... So are you going to hold up mana for that? Yeah. It's yeah. It's also like not good though. <laughs> No, no, I'm just saying, well, like... Tar Pit is good because it can snipe Planeswalkers. So yeah, yeah. Hall Knight is good because it's a finisher in a blue white, you know, yep. draw. No, 100%. Deck. Yep. Raging Ravine is good because it's efficient. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. But again, even in this yeah. environment, I don't know if I would play Raging Ravine or not. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I guess with fast mana, like maybe you can be swinging with it on turn two or something crazy like that. I don't know, but Darkness is confused about Harpy to Spring, but I, I think it's it's like um, you know the old special like uh, turn three Harpy to Spring pass that kind of game plan. <laughs> this Pal yeah. Palancron, so like you can't go infinite, uh, presumably, but there's not Storm. At least if there was, they didn't see it i don't see brain freeze or or I tendrils i haven't seen any storm but, but there is high tide and so there's like some sort of combo you can do it just you're not storming them you're probably i don't know i to play an eldrazi off um or something i think it's good yeah derek i think you're right on that Maybe, maybe it was. They, I mean, maybe it was a holdover. Maybe he. Maybe he cut the storm package because storms normally in the cube, right? In the vintage cube, moto cube. Yeah. So like maybe he just cut that also, because it's storm. It, the mana flower could have been cut from red to just make red not part of the the combo colors because there's no other combo cards other than like sneak attack, splinter twin, but those are kind of on the different axes. Right. There's um maybe like uh, faithless looting nothing other you'd really want for uh, a kind of degenerate um, engine combo deck interesting but, uh, there's a uh, time spiral yep time twister but there's more conjecture as well I um, I don't think that card is good at this um, this environment Mirari? no probably not too slow Mirari's or Mirari conjecture. Conjecture, yeah. I'm sorry, that's, <clears throat> that's what I meant. Yeah, I agree on Kinnon as well. Kinnon, Kinnon likes a lot of Amanda. Kinnon would be really fun in here. I also say that as someone who played a lot of Kinnon Brawl because fuck, that's fun for a while. Hmm. Pretty tough Can to lose with, too. Draft for this? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I think I zoomed out a little too much. All right. 
Oh. Yeah, buddy. There was also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Thank you, Spaghetti Kickflip. Uh, awesome name, by the way. Uh, for verifying that the all the creature lands are in the cube online, which is terrible. That's they're they're quite bad. I mean, Dermody's got to be super consistent, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's um, a powerhouse here. Might be worse than than the normal. Uh, oh, where's Prismatic Vista? Who are we kidding? Well, I, yeah, I mean, the open land, right? But I actually wonder with the density of lands, if I mean, I, I don't feel as urgent about Prismatic Vista if we think we can build around something like Doretti. You know, I don't know. Um. Yeah. Yes. Uh, counterpoint. Uh, Prismatic Vista. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, all right. Oh, needle spires. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, like, how do, how do you how do you go from debating Prismatic Vista and Doretti to needle spires? It's just not good. Um, I don't so Resto Angel can combo with Kiki. Um, Not true. Smoko's Copter, I think, is generically. It's quite good. This is the best mana rock here. Emery is also um, probably pretty busted. Pretty good. Yeah. I think I'll go with Emery. You want to do Emery? Because of how artifact heavy the, the, yep. the cube is. Yeah. Yep. Oh, animate dead into reanimate. We fucked it up. Mm. No, it'll be fine. Mm. Could just start taking Not... mana rocks. But oh yeah, grab the signet. I maybe, mean, if we're doing, if we're doing the laundry, is super good as well. I'm sorry, which one? Clan laundry is also probably pretty good. Clan oh laundry. yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, yeah, that's probably good. I I'm on the signet. If you are, yeah, signet's so, so fine. Yep. Just start just start getting rocks. Oof. Can you can you Emery Winter Orb? Is that a thing? You just say forget lands. Could I don't think it's a combo with Emery though. Oh, I don't mean a combo, I just mean like with Emery you can just keep, you know, powering out signets. I don't I suppose, know. Suppose um could also just take a good dual land. I think Boloss is Citadel. I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. Maybe it's Academy of Ruins. Uh, if we wield a Mind Saver, then we're in pretty good shape. Right. Uh, maybe if that was our plan, we should have just first picked um, Doretti. Doretti. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Someone someone Boloss made a very Citadel. good counterpoint to that Doretti pick that I was... You gotta be daring. I think um, I'm an all-in kind of person. Let's grab the ruins. I think we're all in to pick Citadel. All right, let's do it. Because that's the artifact you cheat out. That's right, 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 right. Um, and it's like the worst possible signet. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's uh, like nothing good in here. <laughs> It's like Yogmoth for like value, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Like if we want to yeah. do this like blue black artifact thing, maybe I don't know. Yeah, it kind of sucks, honestly. Well, sometimes you just get a bad pack, and then sometimes you get Gonti, so it's okay. I guess you get to Gonti. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I don't see anything else that draws my eye oof we might have to pivot hmm. Sylvan yeah, Library is a banger I guess we're to our picks. I, I, I'm kind of thinking about Sylvan Library but I want to see what we have right. oh sure um, uh, I'm going to go Sylvan Library Tassigirl dump into the graveyard. 
Yeah, no, I think Tasker is good as well. Yep. Oh, it's just a good uh, card. Yep. Oh, maybe we should pick Trigon Predator actually. Probably. So Duretti did come around. Duretti came around. I I, I want to go for Duretti. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. There's no money in this draft. We're just having a good time. Oh jeez. Yeah. This, this is a train wreck. Yeah. Well, sometimes yeah. that happens. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so maybe we could just play like just combos. Just combos. Just take Resto Angel and hope we see like Kiki or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. For every combo we see. Right. Oh, Thoracle for another combo. Thoracle. <laughs> Serious, take Thassa's Oracle for another combo. Yeah, yeah, no, I took it. I took it. So we're going to death all the combos, we're going to death all the fixing. Yep. Um, Devil's playing because you get maximum mana. Oh, I see, I see this, Milera. I respect you. I'm sorry, no, I was just looking at it. I was just looking at it. For... Uh, yeah, there is a persist combo, but I think Devil's play is um, just more realistic. Yeah, there's many. Yeah, so that's fine. No, I'm sorry, I was just looking at Milera because I was trying to. Hmm. He said it's probably don't play it. Yep. Uh, Gideon. Oh, yeah. Lingering Souls probably don't play it. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're going to do better in this pack. We're good. We got this. Breeding pool. There's a balance. I do like balance. There's a fact or fiction. That's a treachery. Is the second card? Is that Scarab, Scarab God? God. Yeah. Um. <laughs> No, I think I think balance is is best, and we need to actually start picking up meta rocks. Yeah, we need to see good ones. All right, here we go. It's a gruel signet, maybe not great. Yeah, I'll take the. Oh, it's so bad though. But at least it has a red. Yeah, I'll take the gruel signet. Duretti's red. Yeah. Oof. I just take wildfire and a burning, and we're on plan. There is the deceiver exoc. I think the burning is more realistic than welder. Yeah, probably because welder you need to get discard outputs, right. but right. burning is more like we just play a couple yep. of signals yep. and we yep. mess them up. Yeah, I can see that. Oof, these lands. Um, Maybe entomb, because we can entomb our um, thing and do ready it back. Right. Yeah, I can see that. Was that workshop? Uh, yeah, Mistress Workshop and yeah, I think we workshop here. You want a talisman? I want the workshop. Yeah, that's probably better. Mm. Well, mm. stroke. E yeah, sure. Yeah. Imagine if this edgic was Uro. Right. Um. Gifts. I think you're probably like concoct some pretty heinous gifts uh, pile with this deck. Right. But my brain's too small to think of that right now. <laughs> we'll imagine we would get there. Trinket Mage, if we picked up any fucking mocks. Yeah. Yeah. Four and a cube. Is... All the boxes yeah. First pick it, so. That's true. Yep. Yeah, I think we picked up Trinket Mage, though. Like, Could be a thing. Play to our outs here. Scarab God's back around. So bad. Um, sure. I mean, I don't know. I think Inferno Titan's better. That's fine. Um, uh, just take Pulse and not play it. <laughs> take Pulse and not play it, probably, yep. Uh, well, there, I guess. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. 
Rakdos return for all the signets that we keep talking about that aren't in our deck. That are not showing up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I don't try those. I don't know. I think these picks don't matter. No, not a lot. Oh, that's actually good. The warder? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Ah, see, we should have gone on the reanimate plan. We saw animate dead. I just, I always forced into that anyway, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to push that way. Do we just want to fetch? Yeah, I just like the fetch. Because it's at least partly on color, if not completely. Oh, here we go. Kiki. Skull clamp. Signet. Now signet. there's some stuff. You want the signet? Signet. Yeah. yeah. Talisman. Talisman, yeah. Baleful Strix is an artifact. I mean, not. It's a red one, right? This one? Uh, red, green. Yeah, perfect. Yep. Um, dual land. If we can fetch that, that's good. Our flood strand gets blue. Strand will grab blocks. it, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I just wanted to... Yep. It's a power stone think, and a I think power stone's better. talisman, probably. Yeah, because I mean, when it, we're playing, we're playing Grixis, right? Yeah, something like that. I don't think we need yeah. to be in white, right? So then, yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Then a rock. Green, blue. That's for blue, perfect. You know that? Yeah. Black, red. Black, red, perfect. Yeah, they were all just in the third pack, that's all. And here's our wind con. The Leviathan? Is that what you mean? <laughs> wind con then disconnects. Keep losing them. Right, because we can... Yeah, we can do ready that out. Yep, yep. Ooh. Wildfire, we got burning. That might just be fine. <laughs> Kiki came around. Probably not playing that, but I'll grab it. Um, Strix is an artifact. And I'll strike, maybe. I don't know if I'm super impressed with the that pack. Rager. These don't matter. Whew. That did not go as swimmingly as that first draft. Not terrible. Or maybe a little terrible, but... Trainwreck Tribal. Alright, I'm back. Hey! We were near the end, so I just went ahead through because. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Leviathan is what you were talking about right when you disconned, right? Yeah. 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 So we got that. Uh, there We did get um, Wildfire since we had Burning as well. So I figured, why the hell not? Kiki was like the only thing. There was a lot of, there was a lot of like, it's all that was in the pack, you know? Um, yeah, I think he liked um, Artifact deck here and. Um, yeah. Pray. Yeah. Yeah, try and well, because like you've got, we did get the entomb, right? Yep. So we got the entomb, and, and you have wildfire and burning. Yep. Um, yep. And we have I gifts ungiven. Some gifts pile. Right. So like, 
Oh, you, you, Doretti. Um, no, but what are your personal thoughts on Pathways and Cube? Yep. I love them. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. They're going in my cube. I already have six um, in my cube. Yep. Very excited for the remaining four. Four coming. For me, they are replacing um, Painlands. Mm. Um, the colorless doesn't matter. Um, and I, I. Like, they're. Compared to basics, like most um, fixing, they, it has some meaningful drawback. But when you compare the pathways to basics, they don't have any meaningful drawback. Like, the, the meaningful drawback they have is that they're non-basic. That's the same meaningful drawback as actual dual lands have. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I'm not trying to say they're as good as dual lands, but they're... Pretty fucking they're close. They're very good. Yeah, they're real good. They're real good. Well, when you say dual lands, that's a wide gamut, right? These are way better than a life land. No, when I say dual right? lands, I mean, like, a, a alpha, beta... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But those actually have a type, too. I mean, they're not basics, but they at least yeah, have a I mean, type. Yeah, so like, no, those are those are right. those are obviously much right. better. But, right. but my point is, um, next to those, that they're the only lands to have no drawback. Yeah, yeah, they come in untapped. I accept having the drawback be that they are not basic. There yep, go. yep. Um, they're excellent. Yeah, they, they fix your mana like on, on turn one. They for either color with zero drawback. Yep, that is awesome. Oh, this is what I'll add. I, I haven't, I didn't add these to my cube yet, and I wanted to add a cycle of ten. Um, and I was trying to decide what, so it's gonna be. I think it'll be these. I almost forgot about them. Hopefully the. Oh yeah, prices have come down a bit, unless you get the promo, which isn't even that yeah, good. Bonus for me. Uh, I'm I'm doing uh, like the. Uh, full arts for everything. Yep. So I, I really like the um, double masters um, full art cards. Right. And these have the full art um, versions. So that's a, that's a freebies. In the sense, that I don't have to hire an artist. To, yep. To do, to do it for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's these are gorgeous. These are yeah. gorgeous. So, the, yeah, and for for two fifty, I'll add this. I'm going to order these today. No, these are fantastic, and they, they also lean towards um, something that uh, Zendikar Rising really got right, which is modality. The double-faced nature of these, including the other cards that are like, you know, a creature with a land on the back or whatever, um, are really fantastic. Because the, the, in Cube especially, my feeling is that you 100% need... Um, uh, Oh, wow, there's a secret layer version, too. You 100% need um, as much modality as you can. I think modality always really, really helps um, with a uh, with a cube in general. So I'm really big on anything that lets you, um, you know, uh, make a decision while it's in your hand. Um, being able to play it as a land or as a creature or a spell, or whatever. It makes, I mean, all those modal level face cards are generally fantastic. I mean, there are some that are better than others, but so no, these are quite good. So I think, uh, I think Gwen's and my connection is really finally gone to shit. Um, but it's getting late and we have reviewed three cubes. So I think this is a great place to start wrapping it up. Um, Ask Talks, definitely DM me or at me on Twitter and I will make sure that you get into the Discord and I will make sure that you get into, and that goes for anyone who's watching or listening to this. If you would like to be in our Discord, we have a nice little community going. We have lots of people who are new. We have lots of people who are experienced like Gwen. So there's always people that you can ask questions if you are, um, if you're newer. On the other hand, if you are an experienced cuber, you will find that there are lots of people asking really neat questions that will make you think about your cube in different ways. So um, lots of fun. Now, real quick, just to wrap up, um, Simpsoning, I think I think generally this cube is in a great spot. Um, I think the suggestions that Gwen and some people in chat gave are um, excellent, and I think you should consider those. But at this point, you're really you're really tweaking for your personal environment. I don't think there's anything like major here that you need to do or not do. 
Um, so I, I wouldn't like super worry about that. Um, yeah, D white, thank you for, thank you for coming in. Um, and you know, we'll definitely get you back in the hot seat at some point, but it is nice to be able to watch and chill. Right. Um, thank you to everyone who sent in a cube. This was super fun. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to continuing to do these reviews. Um, I don't know exactly who's going to be lined up next time, but I've got a couple people on the hook. And, um, so we will get that going soon tomorrow, Wednesday, the 23rd, I will be having a Maz on to talk about his cubes. Um, so that's very exciting. We'll be on at 4 PM Eastern time. So that's a little bit earlier for our UK contingent. Um, and, uh, I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, he's got some really unique cube designs that I'm very eager and interested in getting into. So that's pretty exciting. So, um, he's gonna be guesting tomorrow. Um, and I'll be announcing that on Twitter and discord and all those other fun places. So thank you to Gwen who hopefully can either hear me or I'll just, <laughs> I'll just DM him later. But, um, thank you so much, Gwen, for coming on, helping us out with this. Having your perspective is so helpful, especially since some people were, you know, kind of designing their cube, uh, at least, uh, with some of your thoughts in mind. So, um, thank you to everyone who tuned in. I'm gonna let you all go get some sleep. I'm going to go get some sleep. So I'll be ready for bonus stream tomorrow. Everyone stay safe and healthy. And we will see you very soon.